roosters. So what flavors are you gonna get, Pete? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm either getting, well, I'm, I want cake batter, Oreo, and cotton candy explosion. Sounds delicious. Birthday cake, and cotton candy explosion, and cherry vanilla. Wow. So how's that ice cream? It's good. It's just really making a mess. Everywhere. It's just everywhere. I don't know why you're struggling so much. See, I really am though. I'm doing just fine back here. I don't know yeah. if I'm pointing it at you because I have it back. <laughs> She's trying to drive and not kill us. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's on him kind of. Sort of. Hello. So how's your ice cream? It's good. I'm on cotton candy explosion. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm out walking and it's just beautiful out here. It's like 63, 64 degrees and really, really breezy. This is so atypical for May, the month of May. This is more like March. But anyway, just look at where I am. Just getting out makes me so happy. Like just getting fresh air, just breathing it in, especially when the breeze is like blowing. So my hair probably looks ridiculous but that's okay I'm having fun hopefully you guys can hear me with this breeze oh my goodness anyway talking about happiness versus depression um, I wanted to tell you I know what depression feels like I know what it feels like to be sad and the very last thing you want to do is talk to people reach out to people because you feel so alone and isolated and that probably no one else in the world understands you or understands your feelings so you just kind of start isolating yourself and staying in your room and not really talking to anyone I know but let me tell you even though that's what you feel like doing that is absolutely the last thing you need to do go and talk to someone have someone that you can rely on and talk to even if you don't think they fully understand and I get it I know it takes a lot of energy to reach out when you're sad but it is so worth it oh my goodness look at this cute little bridge and the water everything's so green and pretty it's gorgeous out you don't feel so alone anymore and you at least have someone to talk to and getting out and even making that effort um, changes your whole viewpoint that you aren't the only one in the world with problems and that there are actually people out there that care about you and that do understand. So that was my little thing for today. I was just thinking about it while I was walking and enjoying this beautiful sunshine. I wanted to show you guys where I am. I came up to a summer camp that I grew up at and was a counselor at when I was old enough and then was the summer camp nurse for a few years as well so that my kids could go here and I could be a part of things they did and that kind of thing. But anyway, ta-da! It's a lake and it's just beautiful. I am up here because of a Hispanic women's retreat. And you guys are learning all these little tidbits about me as we go on. But um, yes, I am a women's ministries director for a conference, which includes like two states and part of another one. Every year we put on two retreats, one that's English speaking and one that is Hispanic speaking. It's like a convention for women. We bring speakers in from all over the world for this. And we have about 300 women that come and I get up front and welcome everybody. And it's just beautiful here right now. I've got to show you, I'm down at the waterfront. So it's just really peaceful and the sun's going down. Do you see that island out there? I went camping on that when I was a kid and I got ticks. You know, those little bugs that attach to your skin and suck blood out of you? Yeah, those were lovely. There's another island out there that I've gone, spent the night on, and that one was full of ants. <laughs> I've had pleasant experiences spending the night at places. Oh my goodness, there's like poop everywhere. Gross, I gotta watch where I'm walking. Anyway, this is the lake I learned how to ski in and I was the sailing instructor one year for camp and there's not a whole lot of wind on this lake. So there were many times that I was out swimming the sailboats back in. 
to the shore. I am walking back up this gravel hill. Ta da! And boy, do I remember this as a kid. And it is a big hill. It just keeps going and going, but it's just so beautiful out here. And the water's really nice and high. I've been down here sometimes where the water's been so low you can walk across to that island that I showed you. And um, definitely couldn't ski from there. But here's the sun coming through the trees. It'll be a beautiful sunset. And it's just really, really like cool temperatures. It's only maybe 70 degrees. Oh, I'm just so glad I'm here. There's birds singing. I can see flying around my head. and. There's the ski boats for the skiing. And <clears throat> we used to have a lighthouse right here. You know, not really, you don't really need a lighthouse here. It's not, it wasn't for necessity, just for looks, but we had a really bad tornado. So we no longer have a lighthouse, but we just have the, the balcony thing that it was sitting on. So there's the water from this direction. It's just a really, really nice lake. And I only live like an hour from here. Look at that. It's just total isolation. Really, really nice. Just to sit here and listen to the water. Wow, it's really nice. By the time you see this, it will be Mother's Day. So give your moms a hug and tell them how much you love them because they work hard and they love you. And um, let them know they're appreciated. And from a mom's perspective, being a mom is the best thing I've ever done. I wouldn't trade being a mom for anything. I love Galago and Pebbles so much. I just love my family. And I've been reflecting a little bit as I've been driving up here and just so thankful that I have the chance to be their mother and to spend time with them and to laugh with them and travel with them, go places and listen to them talk about their dreams. And so from a mom's perspective on Mother's Day, I'm really grateful to be a mom. I just feel so blessed to have them and they're really good kids. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It can be hard work sometimes, but it's well worth it. I would go through it all again a million times. I would never change a thing. They're amazing kids. So to all you moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Just want to tell y'all have a good week. Bye.